So in this video, we will learn how to connect Outlook to Notion. Now suppose guys, on your Outlook email, you keep on getting some important emails. And to maintain a record, you want to add those emails into your Notion database. So guys, let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be getting a new email on our Outlook email. And in this video guys, we are going to use Office 365 as a trigger application because Microsoft of Outlook is a part of Office 365 family. So the trigger will be getting a new email on our Office 365 or Outlook email and the action will be adding those new email details as an item in our Notion database. Now how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect's dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Outlook to Notion. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we have to get the details or the data of all the meals which we are receiving on our Outlook account inside Babli Connect. Then after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send those newly received mail details to our Notion so that we can add those details over there automatically. So let's begin. Now to get our Outlook mails inside Public Connect, we have to connect our Outlook account with Public Connect. And we are going to do this by Microsoft 365. So Outlook is a part of Microsoft 365 family. So here guys, in trigger window in Choose App, to connect our Outlook account, we are going to search for Microsoft 365. Select Microsoft 365 over here. And after selecting it, in trigger event from the drop down, select new mail. After selecting our trigger event as new mail, click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, what we have to do, we have to connect our Microsoft 365 account or our Outlook account over here with Public Connect. And to do so, just click on this connect with Microsoft Office 365 over here. And guys, because as you can see, I have already logged into my Microsoft Outlook account, Public Connect had de has detected the same account. And we just have to scroll down and click on yes. And now when we click on yes, we will see that our Microsoft Office account or Outlook account gets connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, guys, it is only showing us an option to click on save and send test request. When you click on this save and send test request button, the details or the data of the most recent, the latest mail which you have received on your Outlook account will be received inside Public Connect. So right now in my Outlook account, you can see that this is the mail which we have received. So this mail is from ABN Businesses and this mail says, Hello Pabli, we are just capturing some response for the video. Thank you, regards. So this is just a simple mail. So we are going to get the details of the most recent, this latest mail, which we have received. So let's get back to Pabli Connect and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And when you will scroll to this response, you will see these are the response. These are the details of the same mail. So here you can see that we have the same email address name of the sender from whom we have received the name. This is the same name. After that, you can see the same email address of the user who has sent us the mail. And other than that, we can see the subject line of the mail as well. So this is the same subject line by which we have received this email. Then when we are going to scroll down, you will see that we have also received the body of the mail. So this is the body of the email which we have received. Hello, Pavli. We are just capturing some response for the video. Thank you. Regards. So in this way, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our Outlook account with Public Connect and received the data of a new mail from our Outlook account inside our Public Connect workflow. Now what we have to do, we want to send the details of this new mail which we have received to Notion so that we can create or add these details as new item in our Notion database. Now to do so, just scroll down and come to this action window. Just click here and here in Choose app, search for Notion. Select Notion. And after that, in action event from the drop down, you have to select Create Database Item. Click on Connect and select Add New Connection. 
Now, as you can guess, we have to connect our Notion account with Pavli Connect. So to make this connection again, click on this connect with Notion button. And here in a new tab, it is showing us it has also detected our Notion account in which we are currently logged in. So after detecting the account here, it is asking us to select the page that in which of our Notion page we want to add this data or add these details. So here what we have to do, you just have to click on the select page button, select the Notion database or Notion page in which you want to add the details or the pages of whom you want to give access to Pavli Connect. So I have all of these pages, but I have a specific page named as Outlook email. And in this page, I want to add all of these details. And I only want to give access to the Notion or to Pavli Connect of this same page only. If you want, you can select any other pages as well. So just select the pages and then just scroll down and click on allow access. And after clicking on allow access guys, you will see that your Notion account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the next thing it asks us is the database. So in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the database whose permission you will be giving to Pavli Connect while making the connection. So right now we have selected only one database. That's why you can see the theme over here. After selecting the database, all the fields of table, all the fields of items which we have created in this Notion database can be seen over here in Pavli Connect. So we have email body, subject, email, date and time, sender's name and content. And you can see all of these fields which we have created in this Notion database in a table. So now we can see that what we have to do, we just have to mention the respective data in their fields in this Pavli Connect step. So start with email body. So from uh, Outlook, we have received the body of the email which we have received from the user on our Outlook account. So this is the body of the email, this is the response. So this is the body of the email and this is the response named as body preview. What we have to do, we have to map this response, map this data which we have received from Outlook over here in this email body field. And how we are going to map it? Guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and in the drop down below, you can see a list of all the responses which you have received from Outlook of a new mail. Here we just have to search for body. And here you can see that body preview, this is the same response. Just select it and it will be mapped over here. So whatever data of a new email body we are going to get from Outlook, the same data will be mapped over here and the same data will be added in our Notion database. After this guys, what we have to do, we have to next thing which we have created next field is subject. So here we have to map the subject line and we are going to use the same process of mapping. Just click here and from the drop down below from the responses of Outlook, select the response of subject and it will be mapped over here. After mapping the subject line, the next is the email that what was the email address of the person who has sent us the mail. Just click here and from the drop down below from Outlook responses, select send us email address. This is the response, select it and map it. Then it is asking us for the date and time that at what date and time we have received the email. So just click here and in the drop down below here you can see that there are two different date and time. One is the send date and time and the other one is the receive date and time. So at this date and time the user has sent the email and at this date and time you have received it. So there is a slight difference in both of them and we are going to map receive date and time. If you want you can use send date and time according to your choice. After mapping the date and time, the next thing it asks us is the sender's name. What was the name of the user, the person who has sent us the mail? So just click here and from the drop down below, here you can see sender's name. Just select it and map it. And at last, it is asking us for the content. So guys, the database, the item which we are going to create in our Notion using this automation, if you want to add some kind of content to this particular item respect to that, you can add that item over here as well. So right now you can see that we have actually mapped the body of the email over here as a new field, as a new column. But if you want, you can add or you can just ignore the field of body of the email from this table and you can add that body of the email in this content section over here. But right now I'm not adding any kind of content. You can just ignore this field for now. Just scroll down and click on save and send test request. After clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the details of a new mail which we have received on our Outlook account is been added in our Notion database as a new item. So let's check it. We are going to get back to our Notion database. And yes guys, 
Here you can see that the same details of a new email which we have received on our Outlook account has been added as a new item in our Notion database. We have the sender's name, their email address, their subject, what was the subject line of the email, the body of the email as well as the date and time that at what date and time we have received this email. This means guys the automation workflow which we have created is working perfectly fine. Now using this automation guys whenever we are going to receive a new email on our Outlook account automatically the details of that email will be added in our Notion database. Now guys after setting up this automation let's test this automation once in real time. So what we are going to do from some other account from some other email address we are going to send an email on our Outlook account over here. So let's do it. Let's go to or switch to some other account and this is my another account and let's compose an email. Let's enter our Outlook email address. Then just add the subject line that is this is a real time test. And let's add a body as for example, hello Pabli. Okay, so this is just a short simple email which we are going to send. Click on send over here. And after sending this email, we will see that within seconds, the same email will be received on our Outlook account over here. So let's wait for a few seconds or refresh your Outlook page once. And yes guys, here we can see that we have just now received another mail with the same subject line which we have entered and the same email body. And as we receive this email guys, we will see that within 10 minutes, the same details of the email will be added in our Notion database. Now this, it takes 10 minutes guys because every 10 minutes, Pabli Connect will go to our Outlook account and check for new emails which we have received. And then it will get the data of the new mails and then it will start or process this automation with that data. So guys, what we have to do, we just have to wait here for 10 minutes to get the response. Okay, so right now we have successfully waited for 10 minutes. Now let's check our Notion database. And yes, guys, here you can see that in our Notion database, a new item has been created. So we have the name of the senders. So from the same email address, we have sent the email. That's why we can see the same sender's name, the same email address, but the subject line and the email body are different. This is the subject line. This is a real time test, which we have entered while sending the test email. And then this is the body. Hello, Pavli, we are just testing this automation in real time. Thank you. And the date and time that at what date and time we have received this email. So in this way, guys, you can see that we have successfully created this automation and tested it, this automation in real time. So guys, not just these applications, you can basically connect plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a forever free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.